Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new YouTube thing that they're emailing people about for YouTube. They're like, oh, you need this many subscribers, you need this many view standing in order to keep your monetization. It's completely ridiculous. It's not needed. It's not called for. We don't need this. It's too much. They're drawing the line. We all need to draw the line in the sand right now. This is unacceptable. YouTube, you are failing because you keep doing this. You're like, let's change it. Let's change it. You're changing it to the impossible. You're making it so difficult to new YouTubers that want to create for people. It is not fair. It is not logical. It is not possible to do your new standards. You need 1,000 subscribers in order to activate monetization. You need this much views to activate monetization. You're asking us for the impossible to new YouTubers, to new creators. It is physically impossible. It took me forever just to be able to activate monetization. It is not fair that you are now taking away many people's monetization that they worked so hard to earn. It took them so long, striving so hard to earn it. But now you're like, oh, sorry, um, we're changing the rules again. We're gonna fuck you over. This is uncalled for. This is not okay. You're screwing over many other people, and it's going to screw up your system. This is not the way to go. You don't want people to be forced to have a whole bunch of subscribers just to have monetization. Monetization is not something you can pawn off on people. This is not okay. It's not okay. I'm pretty sure many other YouTubers will agree with me. This is not okay. I'm going to be sending this all around the internet. I will be sending this on Twitter, on my Instagram, on linking this video into my Instagram, linking this everywhere I can possibly place it. Because this is true. They are asking us for the impossible. Oh, I need two 1,000 subscribers now in order to use monetization or else they will take it away. What? I'm not going to get 1,000 subscribers in 30 days. That is physically impossible unless I physically crunch in the hours to physically do this. It is not possible. It is impossible. You're asking your own creators on your website to make things that are physically impossible to do. These things take time. It takes time to edit videos. I'm not going to edit this video because A, I think I'm having very valid points. You're asking us for the impossible. This is not physically possible. It will never be physically possible. You're asking us to stay up day, night, every single day of the year just to do this. That's what it will take. That is not physically possible. Us sitting at a desk, recording ourselves, playing games, playing things, doing live streams. This is not physically freaking possible. Not everyone can do this. It's time consuming, straining. When you have a job somewhere, it's straining. Like, physically straining it's annoying this is what irritates me about youtube they're like oh we're gonna change our rules the rules need to stay close to the same you don't want to stretch it too far and now they've just where's the fair use basically the users who create where's our fair use we want to be able to use what we've earned if we earned monetization in the past, we should deserve to use our monetization now. It doesn't matter if you change something, it should only never change because we already worked so hard 
so many months, days, years to make it to this far. And it's just unfair. You're basically telling us, oh, uh, you need to be close to a silver play button, diamond play button, gold play button in order to have modernization. It's never going to happen. Not all of us are talented like Jacksepticeye and Margaplar and PewDiePie who did something stupid. Everyone knows what he did. Some people don't. I'm not going to go into it. But this is impossible. You're asking us to do the impossible now. This is physically not possible. You're asking us to do the thing that we want to do. But you're asking us for more. Stop asking for more. What more can you want from us? We give you our, we give our time, our effort into making videos, but we can't keep crunching out videos every single freaking day of the week. It's not possible. If we just sat in our seats through the rest of our lives, we just be sitting in a seat for the rest of our lives doing nothing but making videos and editing videos not going out in the world and experience experiencing it for what it is therefore they're basically saying oh if you don't have a thousand subscribers uh or this certain view limit you're basically not allowed monetization it's saying i can't get money from it because a I don't have enough subscribers and I don't have enough viewpoints. Your points are invalid because it's becoming completely ridiculous on the people who are straining to punch out videos. It takes a lot of time to make these videos. You guys need to cut down and stop yelling at us to make more videos. It's time consuming and when you have a second, when you have a job, we can't do two things at once. If I worked for YouTube, I would be complaining this to my superiors as well. Because this is physically not possible. Unless we stayed in our chair where we record for three or four days in a row without moving, without stopping recording, and we got up after those four days by just sitting there for hours without end, we'd die of a heart attack. Because of blood clots. Scientists have physically found that someone who played in a freaking, well, was playing games in a cafe, never got up from his chair for at least two to three days, and he got up, and due to a blood clot that formed in his legs, he died of a heart attack because all the blood just instantly rushed to his heart. It was too much for the heart to handle. Therefore, you're basically asking us to sit down, kill ourselves, and do what you think we need to be doing but it's not you who needs to tell us what to do it's what we need to tell you what to do because we're the ones creating you're just monitoring what we're posting you're just there to make sure we're not posting anything inappropriate anything copyright infringe it it's basically you're just there to protect us from other things but if you're uh, going to amp up security and request re-passwords or request reauthorization of your account every so often, it requires you or send texts to their phones. Ask for the phone number to each and every YouTuber. Be like, hey, is this still you? They can go on their phone and click yes if it's not them or send it by email and be like hey are you still a creator are you still making videos send them an email and be like that if they click yes then it's a yes then they're still there it doesn't mean you take away the thing that they find joy in and turn it upside down it's not fun for people it might be fun for you to criticize us and take away what we find fun, but when you find fun in doing this, it's really time consuming to edit your videos. It takes a lot of time. The reason I'm not showing my face for this rant is because 
I already showed my face on this channel. The reason I chose this image is because this is basically what they're doing to us. They're beating us down, making us bleed, and forcing us to do what they want. It's not fair to actual YouTubers. It's making them bleed out our life to the point where we're stuck filming videos unless we get bored of it and leave entirely. They're making us leave slowly to the point where we don't want to stay. They're gonna, YouTube is eventually gonna run away all their YouTubers and all their content creators, therefore leaving them with nothing, taking away all their funds from the actual program itself, which I will be really disappointed to see. But if you're out there, YouTube, please know that this is not physically possible for everyone to do. We do. We all have different lifestyles and we all have different time periods where we can record. It's all based on where you live and what you do in your life. Sometimes it takes long times to produce videos and get views. It doesn't matter if it's taking a long period of time for someone to get a certain amount of views. It doesn't matter. It takes a long time to get views. A video will take a long period of time because from the day it gets uploaded, it will take a long period of time if you have so little subscribers to actually get views because most of your subscribers do not have post notification on. Ever since post notification came on to the scene, allowing us to see the videos as soon as they came out, letting us know when new creators created a video, or your favorite creators created a video, it basically allowed us to see when the video was posted, allowing us to view the video when we wanted. I know I'm talking really fast and rambling on. I hope you guys are staying on track, but I'm trying to get this video out there because this is of serious concern. If you can't keep up, watch the video at least a couple times and see where I'm coming at because basically this is physically true. Since we all have different time periods, different time zones, different areas, we should all be entitled in making our videos at our own certain time and certain pace. We should not be penalized for certain things like views or subscribers. It should be done by, well, how many posts you've been doing per year. I've been doing a lot more posts because I finally found it very joyful to share my experiences and games with other people. Therefore, I've steered away from vlogging and other things, but I still vlog every once in a while and do unboxing videos, as you guys have seen in my past. I still record events like a normal vlog, but as time went on, I started to realize I really enjoyed filming while vi playing my video games. Basically, when I was recording playing a video game, it came out to me as very intriguing. I remember in the past where my most popular video was basically just a bunch of images. It was just meant to be gag video. It wasn't meant to get that many views, but apparently it did. But since YouTube likes to be very cruel to its creators and content creators and taking away things that they find important to their work, it makes it harder on them to actually do anything. And it's very difficult for other people. Since high ranking YouTubers have no problem with this issue, it's very difficult for people with low or subscribers to deal with this issue because they have so little subscribers that they're basically down in the dirt. There's nothing they can do. They keep beating us down further and further to the point where we can't get up. You guys need to stop beating new creators down to the point where they want to give up or kill themselves. Basically what you're doing is you're telling go kill yourself and end it right here and now and kill and delete your channel. I don't mean like kill yourself in real life, I mean like delete the channel. You're basically forcing people to want to delete their channel. Despite the fact that their channel helps them keep on list of their favorite YouTubers and content creators, 
by losing more and more channels you're losing more and more people who love your website when you lose people who love the website you're gonna lose a lot of money when you lose a lot of money you're gonna go bankrupt your problem is is that you're not thinking your issues through properly and thinking of security you're thinking more about how can we get people who are content creators to punch out more videos you're basically asking us to punch out at least 1567 videos a, mo a month but that is not physically possible most people prefer to post one video a month because it is relatively easy just to sit down, record a video, and go on our merry way and edit it a little bit later. But since time goes on and they don't un seem to still understand that content creators are very fragile and they need time to blossom, it doesn't mean that you need to take away every single portion of what they had just to get them to post new videos. New videos are really rare to do and really hard to create. Videos take long periods of time and long time frames to edit. It takes long times to edit the video. It takes more time to edit the video than it actually does to film the video. A couple days ago I started editing my own videos and trying out an editing software which was in one of my World of Tanks videos. I edited it so well that you guys couldn't even tell it was edited, but since you all seem, but since YouTube seems to think that YouTube creators are solely purposed for having high sub, sub counts and high view counts, it is severely wrong for them to think it that way. It is severely unfair to those who create to entertain. The purpose of creating a video is not solely to just basically entertain. It's to bring a smile to other people's face and make them smile for the day and help them get through their long day at work or at school. But since YouTube seems to find this not logical and not feasible and they think they can take away what we rightfully deserve in this vast community therefore I think we should band together as a YouTube community and help each and every one of us complain about this one fault because this fault is not acceptable just like how they were messing around with our fair use process many other places like Disney Hasbro and a bunch of other places take the fair use thing way too ser way too out of perspective and wrongly accuse YouTubers for stealing their content when they're just reviewing the content and showing partial clips giving them full credit on what they're watching just giving their reviews and letting them know how it was like and what they thought of the animation quality or what they thought of the film in general. Therefore meaning that YouTube is stepping completely out of balance and is making it unfair to all the users of this wonderful website. I'm bravely disappointed that they are trying to force you new YouTubers who are trying to just start off on YouTube to get such a high sub count. But if you guys feel like helping me out, please send this video to as many people as you can. I can see this becoming a future problem for our community on YouTube. If you do agree, please leave a comment down below if you think I am completely right. That this is completely wrong of them and they should back down from this and turn and think in a different direction. Because this is not physically possible for any one person to do in less than 30 days. This is not something you should be, they should be able to control. If they, if a YouTuber has earned their monetization rights, then they should be allowed to use it. But taking away that right is 
being unjust and wrong. <coughs> so if you guys think I am on the right track and I th and you think this video is 100% correct, please let me know in the comments section below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, but please help me and help all future content creators that will be soon to become famous YouTubers in this crisis because this crisis is not acceptable in any way. It's just like Six Flags um, points rule. A no called no show is 30 points. A call in is 15 points. And tardiness is worth 10. Which is completely unfair if you think about it hardly, very hard. It is severely unfair to the employee of that company to actually be able to keep his job and not get fired if he's gonna be late he has to call in to to six flags and let them know he's gonna be late 15 points each but it's severely unfair because their limit is exactly 45 and it is completely unfair to all co-workers and it's also unfair that they make them sign a contract saying that after being let go, you cannot reapply for a job at Six Flags. It is severely unfair and unjust. If you agree with any of my points in this video, please leave a like or a comment down below and let me know if you think this is completely unjust and unfair to new creators and new people joining the YouTube community. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a rambunctious rest of your day. And I hope to see all of you in the next video, like always. And remember, hugs all around. Bye-bye.